Okay, so we're gonna try to dig the artichokes that I planted in the fall of 2021. I haven't digged them since then, so I hope I will be able to do that this time and be able to plant some in the other parts of the orchard. Uh, so let's see. very exciting <laughs> um, okay so I dig this and look what what's underneath I already took this out and if you pull this there's just a bunch of artichokes in here broke this guy I'm gonna give this to the chickens yeah so I'm not sure how many because I planted them just in this line I don't know how many like probably just eight pieces of artichokes that I planted in 2021 and now they're all they all multiplied there's more here that I'm trying to dig they're actually spreading it's crazy but if I don't dig this now it will be harder so I'm gonna take this clump and separate them and then transplant so I have a lot of artichokes this guy I don't know why it's so hard to pull uh, there's more here okay I'm gonna do this and then I'll show you I'm gonna be transplanting these guys uh, there's a lot of roots that I can transplant these guys we will try them I will try to cook them uh, they're so tiny but I'm sure it's gonna be good I still have some to do here uh, shortly but maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. This is just from two patches. Okay, so I decided to plant these guys, the Jerusalem artichokes, around here in the corners. So they will shade the mushroom bed or the bed Let's check the high tunnel. I have seeds here that I planted on March 29. And let's see if it's uh, 
Oh. Look at that. What a surprise. Miley. So there are bok choy. A lot of bok choy. These are from seeds that I have sitting here. This is cabbage from last year's seeds that I saved. Cabbage, some lettuce from two years ago. There are kales here. Kale, some flowers, but I don't see them yet. I already put some manure, chicken manure. But the weeds are excited. <laughs> to show up the onions are growing okay well we cannot really do anything about weeds but they're here now okay I just connected the uh, water line here we normally have the Y connector so I can use the other side if I need water here so we're gonna check all the lines all the lines are open so I'm gonna have to close them so I just closed that. Philip said to make sure that I close everything before I turn it on. Otherwise, the water will keep flowing. So this one needs to be off. This line goes under the... What do you call that? This one. <laughs> and then it comes out here on the other side and then you can see the line along the fence and then we're gonna just follow the line and then turn off those connectors so turn off here. Is it here? So this line goes all the way to the high tunnel. Just have to close it and then I have to drag the end. So I'm gonna need it. Day. So we're just pulling it all the way here. We don't have a proper uh, um, setup yet, uh, but the truck can drive over it. It's okay. Okay, so the end just goes all the way here. And I just hang it here and then I bring a hose. So I'm gonna bring a hose and then I connect it here and then it stays here. Uh, so that's, the, that's our setup for this, uh, for the line. Okay, I had to take it all out because this is what I need. This is the good hose that we have and it doesn't tangle. So we're gonna bring that there and then at the same time, I'm gonna turn on the pump. So I hope there's no leaks. Let's see. Could hear the water. There's leak here. You have to fix that. So I think let's check the line first. Make sure there's no leak. No leak here. There's no leak there. This one is leaking a bit. Look at that. The swallows are coming, or they're back. That's their home. 
<laughs> they're so cute. I can't wait to see their babies. So that's their home. Okay, let's continue. So this one is uh, not leaking. Let's see. Okay, I have to pick up the hose. Here is uh, leaking. I have to fix that, or we're gonna have to put the tape around there. Uh, but I'm gonna have to just quickly water the beds here so I can put some soil probably next week. I uh, am watering the other beds here now on the high tunnel and. I just uh, saw this the first time. I we don't have ants last year. I don't know where they where, where they came from. I water it enough. They won't have any home. just finished um, watering the beds I just wanted to water the manure that's on top of the bed so um, it's saturated enough before I add the soil and I think that's gonna last for a few days hopefully anyway I thought I'd show you my water setup um, I have two barrels here that I fill up when it's sunny as you know, we are just on solar, so um, I only take advantage of the water or using the water like this when it's so sunny. And when it's cloudy, I just uh, use a water um, and then take the water from here and bring inside. So uh, I'm going to fill them up. I just emptied them because there's algae. Um, also, we have the IBC there, as you can notice. So we filled that up. Um, maybe I'll do that or we'll do that next weekend. And then it's gravity fed. We just connect the hose here and then water the high tunnel. So again, during uh, cloudy days, we use that. So we have two of these, one here and one by the uh, raised bed garden. Um, we don't have a uh, drip ir uh, irrigation set up for all the gardens, but we were able to, or Philip was able to add the uh, water lines last year. So that really helped uh, in watering the gardens. Don't, don't drink that, don't drink that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna give you some water, okay? No, 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 don't drink that. Sorry guys, I had to stop Bond from drinking the water that I just emptied from the barrels and I gave him fresh water, so it's better. Anyway, I was just saying um, that we don't have any irrigation installed or drip irrigation installed on all the gardens, but we're looking into that. Uh, for the greenhouse because it's very important that uh, we have irrigation there but we're not sure yet we're still trying to figure it out because as uh, I've explained and showed you before um, the water line that we're using is not properly installed in the ground they're just running um, on the ground as you can see but it's working 
and it's better than <laughs> than nothing right um but also it's been a challenge over the years uh watering the gardens uh, so what i do is i alternate the days where i need to water for example the raised bed garden and the triangle garden on the same day and then the orchard and the high tunnel on some days so that worked um, when it's raining it's really helpful so we'll see what we're gonna do this year um, we're thinking of setting up more um, line water line especially drip irrigation for the uh, raised bed garden and the triangle garden so I don't have to spend a lot of time watering them although it's a uh, it's really good I enjoy watering it's my stress reliever and I get to check my my vegetables and whatever I planted so anyway wish me luck this year <laughs> This is my second day um, digging the artichokes. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Look at that. So it's kind of hard to dig. Uh, so what I do is uh, the roots, I'm transplanting them on the other parts of the orchard and the other garden. But I just want to show you. Um, so... They're way down there. It's kind of hard to dig because I don't want to break them. So what I do is just use my hand and my little knife to just remove some rocks because there's a lot of rocks. Uh, so I'm still digging out look at this one it's uh, right by the rock there's a rock here a big rock that I cannot pull so I'm gonna use this and do that and then here's the treasure a big artichoke And I don't think I'm digging de deep enough, so I should get more, but mm. see this one, it's right here, it's really stuck in the ground. So anyway, I'm going to continue digging as much as I can. Uh, there's still four patches, it's just beside each other, but it's like... Uh, it's all beside each other now because they uh, just grew over time, over the past two years. So I'm just going to try to dig as much as I can and then I'm going to show you what I harvested so far. Okay. I have these guys to transplant some of the roots that I digged uh, and there's a bunch of them. There's already uh, some that are staying here. So I'm going to plant uh, these guys around the orchard. And so far, this is what we got. One full basket of Jerusalem artichokes. This is our first time harvesting this. So I'm so excited to cook them. And the tiny ones, I'll probably save them and give them away. So... Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna cook this yet, but I'm sure I'll find some online. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go head back. I'm exhausted. I spent hours here <laughs> just digging artichokes um, almost all afternoon. So I think that's it for the day. And next time I have to, or tomorrow I have to come back here to continue digging the rest. Anyway, 
thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you had an amazing weekend let's go inside and figure out how we're gonna cook this